Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video and this uh, middle of the day market update in which we'll do a couple of important things. First of all, we'll do a market update. All right, so we'll take a look at the markets right now. I'll tell you which narratives and which, which categories are performing well, but also in general what to expect from the markets because what you can see right now is not ideal. Bitcoin over the course of today has been very, very bearish. Now, right now, if you look at the daily time frame, for example, you can see that we're at a strong support level. So you should, or at least you would expect some support here. And personally, I also do. Um, it's not the strongest level. I mean, when we're talking about very strong support levels, you, you tend to look down towards like 65, 64,000. Um, but for now, I think we have a decent chance to find some support here. We just, on the one hour time frame, we already did find some support here for the last three hours. Um, Bitcoin is not really gaining momentum. Like it, it gains a little bit of momentum in the last two hours from that support level, which is what you want to see. Um, but apart from that, it's 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 a minimal, all right? What, what, what we really want to see is some sort of a bullish reclaim. So right now the altcoin market is actually not doing too bad because Bitcoin uh, is falling down, but the Bitcoin dominance is also falling down. So that means that altcoins relatively are still holding up fairly well. Um, but what you want to see is then when you're looking at levels, like like you want to see Bitcoin break above 67, uh, 67,400, that would be great, right? If we get a breakout like that, then we might actually have some short term bullish momentum because right now I, I, I would not long anything or at least maybe some long term plays, maybe some very short term plays. That's all possible. Um, but the market as a whole, which you can see as well, if you look at the total three right here, is still very much bearish. So be careful. And uh, the reason for that, I mean, there, there's multiple reasons for that. But right now, what's happening is that we're very, very much waiting for tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, we have the inflation rate and the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. That's going to make the market move. All right. So there's no like, why would anyone with a lot of money want to want to buy any crypto or want to start bidding any crypto right now? When tomorrow, first of all, we're going to get a lot of volatility and we will get news that will move to markets possibly for weeks and weeks. Because what you can see right now is that the dollar strength index is relatively bullish. The, the, the strength or the weakness of the dollar strength index depends on the news tomorrow and the dollar strength index in turn influences the movements for Bitcoin. Um, so that's that's the most important news and that's something we have to wait for. I'll keep you updated on that, of course. And today we also got some news about uh, ZK Sync and their airdrop. That's all great. But ultimately, um, the news that we'll have tomorrow is, is what we're waiting for. Um, so yeah, for now, short term, I do expect some support here for Bitcoin, uh, but I would only get a little bit bullish intraday. So for today or for the next 24 hours, if we can get some sort of a, a breakout above, let's say 60, 67,300 and 67,400. And then what we did see earlier this morning is that it's really meme coins and RWA again that are performing well, but it's mainly meme coins, right? If you if, if you look at this, you can see with the, with the strongest performance performers, uh, it's Ondo, all right? So Ondo is holding up fairly well from the RWA narrative, but then you have Bonk, you have Ladies, you have Pepe, and then you have some AI coins, you have a whiff, but those are like Ondo and these three meme coins, especially Pepe and Bonk. I also posted about that on my, uh, on my Twitter account. I think those are the mains to watch that if Bitcoin actually is able to find support here and get some sort of recovery, I think those cryptos can actually get uh, a bullish breakout. So if you look at Pepe here, um, I think Pepe could get a breakout above like 12,500 and, and do some rallying. I think Bonk can get a breakout above this level right here at 2,800 and, and do a little bit of a rally. Um, and Undo itself, I actually already bought down here. And I think that's shaping up to be relatively strong here. Um, but it's all still dependent on Bitcoin actually bouncing a little bit here instead of just continuously dropping down. So that's something we still have to see. Apart from that, to talk about some other cryptos that are relatively strong, um, you can you can look at PolyX, bit of a scam coin, right? Very volatile, so be careful with that. It's also RWA, for, uh, by the way. Uh, Sui actually was showing some momentum. For now, it's trending down, but if we get a breakout above uh, $1.05, could be interesting. Injective still relatively strong, still waiting on the daily for a breakout of $30. After that, we're golden. Um, and that's very much it for now, all right? The, the main thing you need to watch is Bitcoin and then meme coins. 
So that's what I think. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.